welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be doing my favorite video of the month plus a bonus because it is not only boxy charm it is boxy lux as well so let's dive in if you are new to my channel or you just can't remember how I do my boxy charm and boxy lux unboxings I have a twist on how I do well a lot of my videos but my boxy charm and boxy lux videos are special to me yes I go on and I tell you what I got in these boxes I do wear tests for you so I can tell you my thoughts on the products for multiple days not just original application but I also go in depth online and let you know what other actual users of these products are saying are they any good are they crap is it me am I the problem the reason I don't like something or should we just declutter them right now? Let's find out right now. And if you missed my last video, I am doing a giveaway with the duplicate items that I get in my BoxyCharm. So yes, there are actually three things that I will be gifting away that I'll be getting into in this video. So to enter, all you need to do is be subscribed, comment below why you want these items, and keep an eye out on the comment section for the next two weeks or so to see my response if you win the giveaway. The second way to enter is to go to my Instagram, comment and like the post there and I can reach out to you there so let's get into these goodies so as I'm going into the products out of these two boxes everyone got the first item I put on my face whether you got boxy luxe or boxy charm and it is the wander beauty lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask I actually posted myself on my Instagram stories wearing this and then I ended up doing another snap right after that letting you know how it was doing and it's so funny because Wander Beauty reached out to me when they saw I tagged them and they were like oh that's awesome let us know what you think spoiler alert I don't think they want to know and so many of you commented back to me when you saw my Instagram story I thought this going on looked really cool it looked like unicorn blood from Harry Potter going on it was one of those things where it's like see that it's unicorn blood, that is. You have a half-life, a cursed life. And I thought, it looks really cool going on. And then I waited the full 15 minutes, tried to pull it off, and I kind of couldn't. I even showed you guys in a quick little excerpt on Insta Stories how I was like, I can't get this off. And so many of you reached out to me too, and you were like, yeah, we had the same problem. We couldn't get it off. So I went in again, slathered on so much product, because I was like, clearly, I just used too little. That's why it wouldn't peel off right no I had a really hard time it's like the edges don't want to come up and that's where you're supposed to pull that's even where the instructions tell you to pull none of us could get it off like I had to make these weird faces to kind of start getting it in different spots all over my face and eventually I just had to get a wet washcloth and finish getting it all off which is one less satisfying and two not how the product was intended to be used so I was pretty disappointed in that although my skin did feel good afterwards but I wasn't sure if it was because of this or something else that I got in my boxy lux that I'll get into in a second but let's see what other users of this product are saying you guys already told me on Instagram you had the same issue uh, but let's see what other people are, are talking about so I am on BoxyCharms Facebook right here in front of me and Betty Farmington said how did you all like the mask I tried the Wander Beauty lift off purifying mask and I was extremely disappointed in the results she says it was extremely tacky with no smoothing capabilities whatsoever it dried well but then when it was time to take it off it peeled off in small pieces like sunburn skin the remaining pieces had to be washed off and took three washes to remove I'm pretty positive I won't be using this again and she did get a reply from Robin Lucas and she said I had the same results I was so excited to get this. It took me 30 minutes to peel off in small pieces. It did the same for me. So I don't know what the dealio with this is. I, 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 like I said, I even tried adding more product, which should have, I would think, fixed the problem, and it didn't. So I don't know. Stay tuned for a quarterly BoxyCharm review. I may try this one more time, but pretty frustrating. The next thing I would have put on my face is an It Cosmetics product that I got from my Boxy Lux. This is the Confidence in a Cream for All Skin Types Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream Anti-Aging Armor. I can tell you I used this product for a good four to five days before sitting down to film this video and you only need a little bit of this product. I didn't even like dip into the jar yet to be honest because there's like some cream on the lid. I literally put my finger into that, dab it all over my face, 
and that's what I've been using because it, it spreads really far. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first opened my Boxy Lux and I saw this was in here, I was like, oh, cool. But I've gotten so many moisturizers from Boxy Lux now. Like every time I've gotten it, this is my third time getting it. So this is my third moisturizer. I'm like, I, I know I said I wanted some skincare, but how much do you think I need? I can't get through a jar yet. But I totally get it because so many people are just now getting off of the wait list for Boxy Lux. And you guys want some face creams too. I get it. I appreciate it. Thanks, Boxy Lux. I thought this really makes my skin feel really smooth. I, I really, I think, no, correction. I feel like it makes it feel soft. It's yet to be determined if it makes my skin feel smooth because clearly with a, you know, skin product, you need to give it more than just like so many days to use it. So I'm going to put this into my rotation and kind of take out the other moisturizers that I've already gotten from Boxylux and let you know more in depth later how I feel about it. So let's see what people are saying online. On their website, Yulza says this is super hydrating and she's really loving it so far. Arcia said she really loves the smell. I honestly can't remember what it smells like. It smells kind of lemony and citrusy maybe, but it doesn't have like a crazy distinct smell to it, which I like in a moisturizer because I don't want my face to feel like it's got too much fragrance on it. Okay, so Amanda said this feels nice on my skin, but the smell isn't great, so she only gave it four hearts. So, you know, personal preference. Laura said that the texture is great and it doesn't have a greasy feeling to it. And I would totally agree with that because some moisturizers can kind of make it harder for you to put makeup on on top of it. This does a really good job of being a base before a primer. Kind of hard to go in depth of reviews on how this does long term yet. So stay tuned. The next product in the box is going to be the controversial one, but this is the one everyone wanted. So I totally understand why there's frustrated people out there. This is the cover up effects face palette. I love it too. I'm sorry to say that because there is drama behind it. Um, at some point, I guess Yosef, the CEO of BoxyCharm, had made a comment saying, make sure your BoxyCharm quizzes are updated for your skin type and that will help us to determine if you get the dark one or the light one. And apparently somehow, even though people are saying their quizzes were updated with the correct coloring, Somehow BoxyCharm dropped the ball and a lot of people still got the dark when they needed the light. People are getting the palettes that are apparently unusable for them. So there is a lot, lot, lot of sass right now that I'm going to try to wade through for you to give you an actual review of this. But I can tell you for my personal self, I got the light medium and this is the one for the giveaway. It's a light medium. It's totally untouched. Ready for you. Comment below why you want this and stay tuned to see if you want. Usually with a face palette like this, when you see a blush and some highlighters and some finishing powders, there's usually a bronzer. I was surprised to see this was a contour that kind of took me for like a loop for a second. So I was like, oh, okay. Use a different brush, you know, because I use different brushes for my contour versus my bronzer. And what I find with this, if you are newer to contouring or even if you're a pro is this gives such a natural finish to it. It doesn't get too crazy out of hand. It doesn't give you that, oh, I'm doing a night look real fast. This is a really good product. It's even good for like nose contouring because that one's a little bit more delicate and difficult to do because it's right there in the center of your nose. I think it does a really beautiful job. The blush is super pigmented, but not crazy. It looks really pretty when applied to the face. Um, there's two highlighters and a brightener and a finishing powder. The highlighter I get into more is Divine for at least the looks I've been going for the past three to four days. I really enjoy it, but it's more of a subtle highlighter. Whereas this brightener up here, if you need that pop, that's what I'm wearing today. Beautiful. The finishing powder I like to use with one of the other products that I got in my Boxy Luxe and a Boxy Charm that is going in the giveaway. This Moda Pro brush. There's also the highlighting brush as well. I find this brush with this kind of highlighter kind of diffuses it. It doesn't look like crazy popping if you don't want it to. It can kind of give more like that subtle, beautiful glow. Um, but this baby, no matter what brush you're using, is going to get hot and heavy fast. It's going to be beautiful. But I also like this brush for the finishing powder. It does have some sparkle in it, but it still looks really pretty so far. I'll give you an update on that in a later video. I really like this. Just to address it here in the very beginning, BoxyCharm posted a photo of this beautiful palette on their Facebook. There's a comment here first thing and BoxyCharm does address it. She says, except you guys completely dropped the ball on the main product this month. Sending everyone the wrong shade of the Cover FX palette, even though for a solid month, you kept telling everyone to make sure their beauty quizzes were updated. Um, BoxyCharm does a very long reply here, but I'll sum it up really quickly. 
Boxy Charm says, hi beautiful, we are here to help. Sadly, we identified a small group of charmers that received a Cover FX palette in the shade that that did not correspond to their beauty quiz results. We are working hard to make this right and have sent an email to the affected charmers. Please be sure to check your spam and your junk folders. So that's good to hear. If you've not taken your beauty quiz, we highly encourage you to. We use the beauty quiz to customize our boxes more and more each day. Thank you so much. So if you did take your quiz, and you still got the wrong one and maybe you haven't received that email, maybe reach out to them. I don't know if that's gonna help at all, but you know, can't hurt. Now diving into the reviews on this, Adrian said this is great for everyday use. And I totally agree. Like I said, I think this gives a very natural look. So if you've never contoured before or you see those like very chiseled Kardashian contouring tricks and you're always like, oh, that's not for me. This won't do that to you. This is very subtle and I think it does a beautiful job of just giving you maybe a little lift, a little bit more dimension to your face. I like it. Barbara B says, I love this palette. It works perfectly for me. Deborah says, this is a very cool palette, how it has not only blushes and highlighters, but powders and contours as well, that this is everything she needs on the go, which is so true. So Ginger says she was excited to get this product, but she received the wrong shade and she reached out to BoxyCharm and they made it right by avoiding her charms for the charm store. And she thinks she's gonna use what she did get as eyeshadows. So at least there's that. So if they can't maybe replace it, if they're sold out, maybe they can give you charms. Arms. Maya said this is only okay it's really not my favorite palette if you did get the right color tell me what you think below or if you did get the wrong version how can you use that in your makeup collection or are you gonna sell it give it to a friend let us know I know this was the one that was the hot topic of frustration this month again this is in the giveaway these are in the giveaway so the next product I tried on my face uh, was a learning curve for me to be perfectly honest it is the iconic London sculpt and boost eyebrow cushion. I have never, I don't think ever in my life tried something like this. Ooh, it's hard to get open. Come on, open. And I did see somebody, and if I can find a screen grab of it, I'll put it in here. Somebody was trying to open this because it comes with a little like pad on top of this like a little, a little pull tab off of this and it like squished all over her because I guess she accidentally applied pressure as she opened it and it went all over her and kind of stained a bit for a minute. So be mindful if you've not opened this yet to do it gingerly. I saw that each side has, this is like a medium and this is like a dark brown. So clearly I went over here to the lighter shade after I brushed out my brows and I used this little guy, dapped it in here lightly and it, I even kept a napkin next to me to, in case there was too much because this is a fresh product, lightly wipe off some sides because I didn't know what to expect. Um, the first day I tried this, this brow came out so darn bossy. I was like, oh, if I had darker hair right now, this would be awesome because it does a really good job of applying product so it doesn't look like I, in person, like it was too crazy, but it was too dark for me. The shade was the issue. So I went on this side with a lighter hand and I thought that one looked a bit more natural. I can tell you after a couple days of trying it, I've gotten better at it, but I still think the color, even on this lighter side, might be a tinge too dark for me, um, especially with like the lighter ends of my hair. And I don't know, I'm going to keep playing with it though. I actually really enjoy this formula. The brows lasted all day long. Let's see what other people are saying. I'm really curious if people like this, hated this, if it squirted on more people. This was a fun product to try for me. This was from my Boxy Lux, by the way. Joy said, I tried it and I love it. It's so easy to apply and different. I'll buy this when I run out, but there is so much product, I doubt I'm gonna run out anytime soon. Can't say enough good things about this. So I wonder that too, like I wonder, one, I think this has a lot of product in it, but two, is it gonna dry out at all? I honestly have no clue because I've never had something like this. Um, I wish I had like more of a, a lighter shade, but like I said, I, I think this is fun. So Rebecca said, I was pretty skeptical about this product, but it's amazing. Yeah. April T says, the color says medium, but it still seems pretty dark. I think I will need to practice with it a bit so I don't look too demented. My first try was a bit harsh, but I'm just used to using a pencil. Same sister, same. And is mine medium? Yeah, mine is medium as well. Joanna says it's easy to get natural brows with this. Really enjoying it. Stay tuned for a quarterly BoxyCharm review. Um, do we have any blondes in the audience that got this? And did you get a blonde one? Because I'm curious. So the next thing I got in my Boxy Lux was a Morphe palette. Now this one is in 15D Day Slayer. I have one other Morphe palette. I do not have the James Charles palette. I know some of you thought I got that because I think I talked about it in a What's New on the Market products video. Um, I only have the original Jaclyn Hill palette. This is my now second Morphe palette. This palette 
speaks to my orange sole. Orange, orange. I've been wearing it for like three days, four days, um, dedicatedly just using this product. So my thoughts on this are I have a hard time getting inspiration or trying to find a varying look to use this with because I have a lot of browns, I have a lot of oranges, there's like maybe a natural shade that's not really a transition shade here, no highlight shades. So I had to really kind of try to be a little bit more creative with my eye looks without being too one-toned because I was wanting to try more of the shadows. My today eye look is a lot more orange, hence the orange top I'm wearing. Some other days it was a little bit more brown toned or a little bit more um, neutral taupey toned. I can tell you that there was more powdery kickback in this than I thought there would be and it seems to be a little bit more noticeable in certain matte shades than others. I don't dislike this palette and I've not actually like swatched it swatched it because I was just immediately applying it to my eyes. Ooh, see right there I've already got some fallout with this one just putting my finger in it. Ooh, kind of chalky. Okay, okay again impromptu swatching like I like to do here no prepping to it. I mean they look pretty pigmented but there is some fallout here and not totally consistent with swatching. Honestly was kind of wondering to be real with you like why does Jaclyn Hill love these so much other than the fact that they pay her a boatload of money because I, I like them well enough and I will reach for them. I just wasn't as impressed with the formula as I one thought I would be and two I don't think this is good as the Jaclyn Hill original palette and I know there was some rumors for a while that the original Jaclyn Hill palette had a different pressing formula or something I don't know what's true and know what's not true because there's so many you know makeup whispers in the wind I don't know um, but I am able to make a look with this I had this eye look on now for at least three hours I want to say and it, it was a little bit more complicated to put some like the color desert or dessert I don't know out here on my outer corner and build it in with some of the other orangey shades other days like I have forever up here and this one started to kind of like fade away after a while so I'm gonna play with this some more I did conceal my eyes so I don't know I'm gonna play with this some more let you know in a quarterly boxy charm review but I have no idea what people are saying about this palette or the sisters that are out right now oh that was a sister I wasn't meaning that as a sister joke to James I was meaning that as just that you know they're all in the same family kind of sister thing so let's see what other people are saying Gina Lynn went on their BoxyCharm photo of a bunch of swatches of the Morphe palettes and said stop sending harsh orange shades and that got 30 reactions and Karen replied I agree worst box ever everything I got was the opposite of my colors lips and palettes were orange a waste uh, Katie said I have porcelain skin with red hair and cool undertones which is on my beauty quiz and I got the dreaded 15D palette which is going in the garbage and BoxyCharm replied again the same thing about saying how they're working towards their quizzes and implementing customized boxes. Dawn said not impressed. Once again super orange base neutrals and I'm pale AF. Julie said I swatched mine. I didn't think I would love it but I really do. This is not a bad palette. I think this is just something I have to wear with something else and because I was getting ready to film this and I wanted to try as many shades as I could I I really only dedicated to this so I would want to pair this more with other palettes to see how does it complement how well does it work with other products and I will keep you posted something that I did like to go with this palette though was something I got in my boxy charm that some of you may have received and this is the appeal liquid eyeshadow this is just like a big sparkle eyeshadow and I wore it a lot on my lids the past two days that's what I did today I put it in my inner corner and then I put some of the highlight brightener on top of it just for right here in the corner just to liven it up I actually thought this went very well with all of the colors in this palette because anything that I put on my lid or in my crease it went well with the first day I really liked it because it was pow but not crazy pow. Do you know what I'm saying? The second day I got a little like excited and a little too glitter happy and I did multiple applications of it just to see if I could really build it up. And for me, it got patchy because it would start to dry in certain spots and not others and I would try to smooth it out or use the brush. I used my finger, I used the wand. It was a little too much when I tried to coat it. So I think it really did better for me with one coat. This is $21. Okay, for the record, I wouldn't pay $21 for this though. I did not notice that when I was like putting on the makeup and playing with it. That's a lot of money for this. Jennifer M just says, not my favorite. Ashley says, 
Eh. Darlene says, I love getting eyeshadows, just not a liquid glitter. Barbara B says, this is kind of nice to try, but I'm not sure I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. That is a problem I notice in my beauty spaces. If I get something that I want to try for you guys in my BoxyCharm or whatever, I'll try it. But something like this ends up falling by the wayside. So I'm curious if in a couple of months I even remember to use this, which would be really pretty in the summertime, catching the sunlight with a little bit of gold flex. I could see that. The question is, is will I remember it? The next thing I got in my boxy Lux that I am wearing today are my Lily Lashes. They're on my eyes today. These are the limited edition faux mink. I wear lashes every now and again, not often. So I was kind of like, all right, we'll put on some lashes and see. I can tell you the first day putting these on, I don't think they're that comfortable. They have kind of like this plasticky band at the base that is, it feels like plastic and the, the lashes themselves are nice they're full I think they're really beautiful and I love the curvature of them so they feel like easy to apply to my eye shape and I usually I have such a big round eye I almost never need to trim these so I don't know what it's like to trim them to be honest because I just can literally could pop these on but they don't feel like a lash I'd want to wear all day but originally applying them and then if I like sneeze or blink too hard where you kind of like close your eyes more the plastic in the corners kind of like catches and it feels uncomfortable and they're totally glued down they're not coming off so I think these are really pretty for photos for filming I just don't know if I could keep them on all day because I don't think they're terribly comfortable Kayla said these look fun but I don't really wear lashes a lot so maybe they'll be good for a special occasion a lot of people are saying they're tired of lashes because they don't like them uh, Sandra says they're a little too blingy for her and they are very intense like in person they look like you're wearing lashes like they are like boom in your face Heather said I've been wanting a pair of lily lashes and these are perfect for a night out so Kari says these are the absolutely the best lashes she has ever tried so full and absolutely beautiful so happy I got these in my boxy look so let me know if you got these do you love them if not are you gonna give them away to a friend give them as a gift so now I have two lippies to review and yes I have tried both of these lippies let's start with the one that kind of shocked me this is the Becca lipstick love I Real talk, I've said this before, ever since Liquid Lips came on the market, I hardly ever reach for an actual lipstick bullet. It's just something that I don't reach for because I drink a lot of water in the day. It comes off, it smudges off, I'm a face toucher. So I just kind of stopped using these. And then when we got one, I was like, oh, Becca, yeah, I haven't tried a lot of her stuff. Let me, let me put this on my mouth, let's see. I'm still wearing this, like I said, about three hours after application, and I've had some water, and it's not like a liquid lip where it's going to stay on all day, because it does transfer, but I'm impressed and have not had to retouch, like, uh, at all, because it is so pretty. Now, probably I could. I may as well right here. First of all, gorgeous packaging. Beautiful. I love the color. I got the shade Burgundy, and it just is a really comfortable lippy to wear, and like I said, it, it doesn't, like, stain your lips where it stays on all day, but it has some lasting power to it, and, and for an actual lipstick, that kind of shocked me. Belinda says, I love the color I got. Patsy says she loves the formula. Me too. I feel like this formula is kind of a game changer and may make me think about going back to some bullet lippies. Christy said, great formula and it felt really nice on my lips. Tanya says, great brand, but I hate the color I got. Abby says, this lipstick is actually moisturizing. And I would agree with that. I put it on and I feel like it maintains a moisture to my lips. I appreciate that. The other lippy I received that I'm really enjoying is another Ofra product. I do love me some Ofra and this is in the Monaco what is this a shimmer this is a long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Monaco I think this is so pretty I feel like this is definitely more of like a gloss formula with that like metallic -y shine to it I think it's really pretty I you wore it one day as like a standalone but I think this really like vibes so well when it's on top of another shade or maybe a pencil I think this is so pretty I love the over formula though like I don't think you can go wrong with the over formula real talk Abby E says I love the color and it lasts a while but it's very drying for me this one was not this one felt a little bit more let's just put it on top of this just to be extra now, since I do have something else in the bottom of it that I just said was moisturizing, it's probably not going to feel too drying. I didn't feel like this was very drying, but maybe it was a little bit more drying than the other formulas I've had. This one has more of that metallic glow to it, so it probably is a different formula. Love Ofra, says Patsy. Patricia says it's not my favorite formula. 
Love the formula. Not so much the shimmery colors, though. I do prefer more of a matte, but this could be fun to play with since I don't really have a lot of Ofra shimmers in my collection. I'm not mad about it. Love, 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 says Maya. So, I mean, it just kind of depends on which one you got. Maybe I like this a lot. I can't wait to play with it some more. Oh, it's so funny at my house because this next product is the bane of my husband's existence in a way because I really prefer... To, I like having my nails done. I just hate going. I hate going. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me for logistics behind it. I don't like sitting for an hour doing this with a total stranger. I just don't. So when I got some new polishes in my boxy looks, I was like, oh, it's an excuse to again not go get my nails done and try them. But my husband hates when I do my own nails because I'm always like this for the next two, two and a half hours, years, whatever it takes. I don't move. I just do this. And he's like, can you go get me that? I'm like, no, no. Hey, do you want to go to the... Nope. Nope. I'll smudge them. Can't do it. This I applied on a whim yesterday before I sat down to film some more inserts for you, and I couldn't believe how well this dried so fast. The fact that this Deborah Lipman polish did not ruin my day, and I could touch things and do things, I was like... Tell me more. I only applied the matte shade. I have not applied the shimmery shade yet, but I have two here. These are in Odonna and Modern Love. Yesterday, I applied Modern Love. It is this matte shade of just, you know, just like a matte, like, mauve purpley, pinky color. I really like the formula. I want to know more. I even told my husband when he got home, I'm like, guess what's on my nails, and it didn't take 20 years to dry. He's like, what? It's the bane of his existence, I told you. I, these, these, I need to try this shimmer one. This is the Odonna shade. Loving, loving, loving. It's your 20 bucks. Woo. 20 bucks worth it, though. If you are sick to death of sitting there waiting for stuff to dry and then it doesn't lay on top of itself well when you have to fix something or anything, I love it. Leona said these are pretty colors, but I just really hate getting nail products in my BoxyCharm. I used to feel that way, and there are some days I still do, which is why I'm not upset that I got this in my Boxy Lux because then I feel like it didn't take away from the boxy charm for everybody else. You know what I mean? Unless you love nail things, and I'm sorry. A lot of people say they're not into nail products at all. Joanna says, colors are amazing and super quick dry. Yes, yes, yes. Celine says, beautiful colors, nice formula. Nail items are not something I like in my boxy charm though, but occasionally it's okay. So Rebecca said, I have been a Deborah Lipman fan forever. Casting polish and these are a great color combination. I agree. Again, I'm okay. So and also last night I took a shower and nothing chipped off. These look really nice still. I don't know if it's going to last more than a week, but I am not mad at this. I am so happy to have received this in my Boxy Lux. Something else I don't want to forget to mention is we also got in our Boxy Lux a bag that says Boxy Charm under it. I normally don't like bags. I mention that in my Ipsy all the time. I'm always like, stop giving me bags. I don't need them. This I actually really like for travel. I think this is going to hold a lot of makeup, especially palettes, and I really, really appreciate that. So I will definitely be keeping this. Thank you. Thank you, BoxyCharm. As of this moment, there are no spoilers out for April. It's like everything's under lock and key. Everything is hush-hush, and I don't know why. This is a really long video. I'm so sorry, but I had so much products to tell you about and give you thorough, in-depth reviews on. Stay tuned for my quarterly BoxyCharm review, which will be coming up after this month to let you know my thoughts on the past three boxes. Thank you so much for watching. And if you happen to be new to my crazy little channel, hi, new friend. I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. Bye friends!